How to make the RGB split effect. Today's video is sponsored by Kickass. Hell yeah! <laughs> right click to your clip, make it a new fusion clip and open the fusion page. Disconnect your clip, add a channel boolean node, rename it to red, connect your clip to it, and drag it to the viewer. Leave the red color as it is, and set the green and blue to black. Now that you've separated the red channel, do the same thing for the other two colors by adding one channel boolean node for each one. Connect your clip to this two nodes also. Select the green node, and set the red and blue color to black. Same thing for the blue channel, but this time set the red and green color to black. Add a transform node. Rename it to transform red, T red, and change the edges to mirror. Bring two more transform node for each color, and set the edges to mirror again. Connect every color to each own transform node. Add a channel boolean node. Connect two of the colors to it, change the operation to add, and bring another channel boolean following the current one. Connect the third color to it, and change the operation to add, and connect this last node back to the out point. Now it's time to act like we are smart, and use some expressions. Select the transform node of the green channel, right click in the center value and select expression. Delete the second 0.5 value and write down this expression. The name you gave to the red transform node, point center point x. Select the transform blue node, right click in the center value and select expression. This time delete the first 0.5 and replace it with this expression. 1 minus name of the red transform node, point center, point x. I will leave the expressions in the description. Now if you select the red transform node and move the x position, each color will move separately. One last thing, add a blur node in the beginning of the node tree, after your clip. Uncheck the green box. Now you need to connect the blur size to the red transform node. Right click in the blur size, select expression, and write down this expression. Select the red transform node, and move the center x value. You can animate it manually, or if you are lazy like me, right click on it, select modify with xy path. Go to the modifiers tab, Reset both X and Y, right click to the X value and select Modify with Audio. For this, you will need to install the Reactor plugin and activate the Suck Less Audio modifier. Go to the Modifiers tab, browse your song, set the mode to max, set the amplitude offset to 0.5 and the scale to 0.1. For those who are supporting this channel, I've made a preset of this effect and sent it to you. Just drag and drop it to your clip and adjust the strength right in the edit page. If you want to animate it with the sound, just open the fusion page and modify the strength with the audio modifier. If you liked this clip, subscribe to this channel. If you didn't, then you don't.